Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for the Ridiculously Unhinged Mutant President. Another entry in the 2017 Indie Game Maker Contest. And obviously a try at political humor. Honestly, I don't know how well this is going to go over. Um, obviously this game's going to be very um, against Trump, so if you're a Trump supporter, I'd probably say stay away. Let's see what's on the news today. GOP's attack on affordable character will be life or death for many. Uh, what's that noise? Dang. Moving fast on that. I don't think Trump's done more than build a few samples. I don't know if they've even started building an actual wall. Yeah, I'd like to know where he got the money for that. I really would. Because I doubt Mexico's paying for it. Another incendiary tweet. Time to build a bomb shelter. One capable of surviving thermonuclear war. Wow, someone's actually calling the landline? What's next? You gonna pull out a party line? Hello, this is Dr. Tanu. Hello, Doctor. This is an official summons to the White House. Your expertise is required immediately to stop the President from declaring World War III. The American people need your help in treating his psychological illness. Wow, I'll get on the next flight. Yeah, we better get moving fast. Beta Airlines. <laughs> is, that, is that meant to be like a beta joke? What's, what's nice, you want me to use Washington DC and call it Washington D Cup to make a reference to the Howard Stern show? You know, where Trump made his comments about the war that he likes to deny? Well, let's start talking to people, I guess. Yeah, honestly, I'm worried about that too. I just don't know what to do about it. Yeah, good luck with that. Why? Because they don't want to admit they can destroy the planet, because they figure it's God's domain. It's hard to really reach those that reject climate change for the most part, because they don't believe it for religious reasons for the most part. So trying to explain it to them is usually like trying to chop a limb off, um, which just blows. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you on that front. Well, that's just how it is, man. Ah, uh, yes, that issue. Okay. Well, I'd probably agree with you, though some might argue otherwise. At any rate, I guess we can check out the bathroom, but there doesn't seem to be anything in here. Occupied, huh? Yeah, I've talked to everybody at this point. Even the guy in the men's bathroom. Not they had much to say. Well, what have I gotten myself into this time? I don't know, it sounds ominous. You just listen to that music. It's very, you know, ominous feeling. Okay, let's go in. And meet our destiny. Ah, uh, hello, Doctor. We've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Jared Kushner? Wow, I didn't know you could talk! Can we get a video of this? I need proof, you know? Uh, <laughs> if, if you'd come this way, I think you'll quickly see the problem. Wow. It's like his brain exploded! Yes, he's been like that for a while now, and by a while I mean, like, forever. He's stuck in an infinite loop of nonsense. So like when he talks about nuclear power, because it sounds like something a phone would come up if he just went with autocorrect or something. I imagine it would, especially when he's just repeating the same word over and over and over again. As the foremost psychologist in the, in the country, I was hoping you could examine his brain. Well, I'd be happy to interview him, but in this state, I doubt... 
Physically. I'm sorry, you want me to physically examine his brain? I don't think you know how psychology works. Doctor, there's something I'm compelled to share with you. It's top secret. I mean uber secret. The most secret of secrets. But the future of your country and your world is at stake. I suggest that you take a seat. A cup of tea. A sedative. Um, I'm okay. What the heck? And how'd you get so much taller all of a sudden? My real name is Falong, and I come from the planet Vom, a billion light years away. I was supposed to inherit my father's crown and become king, but I was afraid. Instead, I joined a space warrior gang on my 17th birthday, just to get away from my parents. This gang, they call themselves the Vomets. They are the most superior race in the galaxy. They possess the brains of people with lots of money, power, and influence. Hoping to destroy and defy until there's nothing left. I need your help to stop them. This is insane. I'm not like Goku from Earth, you know? I mean, literally insane. Not mispronouncing Saiyan. I'm seriously out of here. I can't move? Please, you must fix him. With the Space Warrior Gang messing with his brain, he'll start a war. I'm sorry, but you'll know what to do once you're inside. Damn aliens! I knew they were going to put me inside someone's crazy brain. Huh. <sighs> Assistance, good. Finally. Chill out, I'm not one of them. You can talk? What are you? What is this place? Well, you're inside the president's brain. It's always a strange place, but since those intergalactic hoodlins arrived, it's been a dumpster fire, man. This must be a nightmare. Sadly, no, the vomets frogged in the frontal lobe. Multiplied in the membrane, snacked on some synapses, and are spreading deeper into the consciousness. This is a lot to take in. Everything is corrupted and confused. It's out of control, even for me. My default state of being is being confused. That's how messed up this is. Oh, how rude of me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Jay, the Super Ego. Oh, yeah, the Super Ego is the... It's my person that holds all of our internalized moral standards, our sense of right and wrong. Yeah, that's right. I'm the president's decision maker. There's all these alien faders, I've been messing up a lot. No kidding. I need your help to set things straight. I could cause the downfall of modern life as we know it. I'm doomed without you. Doomed! Aliens in his brain. That would actually explain quite a bit. Okay, I'm in. This is the brainstem. From here, you can access all the other parts of the brain. Just be careful. Once you leave here, you won't be able to return until you've driven out the parasites from that part of the brain. Right, so how am I supposed to even do that? Weapons. Magic. Magic medicine. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot! The most important part! Here. This is our most effective weapon. It's called the Public Opinion Poll. It's a stick made entirely of the opinions of Americans. And they're very powerful and opinionated. Well, of course it's our weapon of choice. It's very effective. As you heal parts of the brain, it should have an effect on what the president says and does. The public's opinion of him will rise, and the poll will become even stronger! Like it's been given an aphrodisiac. Eh, I suppose it is a new level. In you go. Make the brain great again! What? From Pinky in the brain? You pushed me! You're welcome! Or right, down there you may hear some thoughts, Echoes. They can be kind of scary, so just stay focused on our goal. Defeat the enemy, heal the brain, and save the world. 
Oh, you got a nice backside. I made sure to touch it quite a bit when I pushed you in the hole. <laughs> oh my, is that an actual person? Unbelievable! Uh, Al Gore, is that you? It is indeed. I've been trapped in here since my last meeting with the President about the Climate Accord. Wait, what? Mr. Gore, is that you I hear down there? In the flesh. Literally. Can't believe you survived this long. This invasion has warped and twisted the President's thoughts, speech, and actions to a new and dangerous level. Will you help me defeat these hungry aliens? Well, since I'm already here, sure. Why not? Oh, so I lost my PowerPoint presentation on climate change. So as we defeat these brain munchers, let's keep an eye out for it. It's extremely useful. Solar energy, eh? Okay. If you don't like it, call it a hoax. Or fake! Haha, <laughs> fake. What a great word. I definitely came up with it. No, no you didn't. Ooh, we found it. Ah, that's it! My PowerPoint! Oh, I've heard about this. You used to travel around the country talking about climate change, right? That's right. This PowerPoint has so much important research and information about climate change in our planet. That's why I was surprised it didn't burn a hole right through his brain. Well, I'm glad we found it. Well, I forgot to tell you, it's much more than a simple PowerPoint presentation. If you want your Android by pressing X, and use it on yourself, you'll teach yourself a powerful ability. Don't ask me how I know that. You know, it's weird science stuff. Mad science. Okay, let's get back to work. Ooh. Industrial agribusiness emerged. I'm gonna baffle you with facts, man. Prepare yourself. Doesn't seem to confuse him. He poisoned me? Gosh darn it. Oh, let's beat him to death then. Your business won't last for long. Oh, that was easy. I was expecting something more, you know? Gosh darn, did that take a lot out of me? Yeah, 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 created by the Chinese, right? To destroy America. I've heard it all before. Yeah, use the facts to destroy the oily lobbyist. No, my speed! How are you trying to take that away from me? How dare you try to take it away? Okay, some more solar energy, eh? Well, let's take it. Ooh, a polar bear. Why is there a line there? Interesting. I'm guessing that's where the boss is at. Well, nothing for it. Let's hit it. Scott Pruitt, eh? Okay. Let's do this. He's gonna bury his head in the sand, eh? Well, I'll put the facts so deep down there you'll feel them anyway. I'm gonna plant myself an information tree on your dead ostrich body. You can't run away forever, Scott Pruitt. I've got the facts. And they are powerful indeed. Ow, counterattack, finally! I was wondering when I was gonna come. But it's too late. Okay. Clean power plan. I would now like to announce that the United States will remain in the Paris Climate Accord. 
I had thought last night. I thought to myself, you know, Donald, a lot of people are saying this whole clan thing isn't a big hoax after all. Something just felt wrong, and suddenly it made sense. It will really be a great decision for the whole world. Thank you, thank you. Well, that's good. We did, Al. That must have been the leader of the Indians in this part of the brain. Yes, that's right. Hopefully the president will listen to reason now, and invest in the future of our planet. Couldn't have done it without you. Now that's done, I can return to the outside world. There are many other parts of this brain that require your expertise. You did it! You saved the parietal lobe! Yes, we did it. It was... Wait, where's Al? Oh, he had a meeting with, meeting with Jane Goodall. Oh, that's too bad. I was looking forward to seeing him again. Anyways, follow me to your next destination. Hope there are any more of those oily lobbyists. There's a scent of vomit coming from the temporal lobe. Oh, and just so you know, sometimes they'll drop useful items. Anyway, the entrance is right here, so... Hey, I remember what happened last time. You don't have to push me again. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. It's pretty spongy down here. You, young person. Bernie? Is that you? Yes, it is. It's time to feel the burn. I need to spread the word. Healthcare for all is the answer. Healthcare for every American. Wow, well, Bernie, I have to say I'm a huge fan. No time to talk. I have to go. Here, take this. Thanks, Bernie. Healthcare for everyone. Spread the news. Well, that was odd. Yeah, I'm fine. Just a little sticky. There's a fair artifact in this part of the brain. It'll really help you out if you can find it. Okay, well, what does it look like? Oh, you'll know it when you see it. Okay. What's that do? Oh, it does, huh? Oh, well, let's get moving, I guess. Said from the beginning, huh? What were you saying? Ah, uh, a hospital bill. What a great name. This is a bill. I'm just a bill on Capitol Hill. I honestly can't believe I had an excuse to sing that song. Okay. Okay, let's do this one more time. Come on, three times. Okay, let's see. Oh, that partially fixes me. Now let's see. I only found another subsidy, that's nice. Take one by mouth as needed for word vomit. Well, I can't use any of that stuff, apparently. I don't know what he's talking about, though. I haven't seen any powerful artifacts down here yet. Let's burn with climate science. Ah, oh, darn, I'm still poisoned. Gosh darn it. This blows. Well, one more. Okay. Well, that helps. Though keeping those subsidies is really difficult. I really could have used the Bernie, man. <sighs> uh oh. That's it, you found it! This? This is the magic artifact you were talking about? Yeah, that's it. This is gross. Who does he even belong to? Ah, uh, some phony congressman. How does he survive without a spine? Oh, he doesn't really. Just 
kind of floats around mumbling incoherently about taxes or something. Everyone just ignores him. <sighs> How sad. Okay, find another subsidy at least. Oh, I never equipped the public opinion bowl? Well, darn. Teaches the ability courage, eh? Okay, can I assume that ups my strength? Gotcha. Well, we'll apply a little solar energy to that and get moving again. Okay. Can I come back here, Burn? I could really use some help for this one. Well, let's do it. Solo if we must. Ah, Mitch McConnell, the turtle! Dang, what are you doing here? Ah, he does, eh? Courage! Something he really lacks, man. Well, I ain't got enough power left at this point. More solar energy, people. Ow. Man, that's one powerful attack, man. Youch. He's coming for me. Dang. Special again. Come on. Got him. I use up most of my solar energy, though. That's not good. That's not good at all. Ooh, a blazer! Sweet! Obamacare is not dead! Repeal and replace is dead! There may be problems with Obamacare, but we need to fix them, not destroy them! No, I'll be instructing Mitch to work across the aisle to come up with a healthcare solution that works for all Americans. Now I'll stop sabotaging the Affordable Care Act. Well, that's good. I suppose. Yeah, no pressure at all, right? <laughs> Great. So once all the space wars are gone, will I be able to go back to my regular body? Of course! That's a relief. The prefrontal cortex, eh? Well, I think I'm going to be stopping here for now. Until next time, then. See ya.